welcome to today's video where I'm going to be going over my journal setup for 2023. In my planner lineup video, which you may have seen, if not, I'll definitely have it linked up in the cards for you and down below. I did show my journal, which was in a navy blue Traveler's Company cover. And I mentioned that I would likely be adding additional inserts, but I hadn't finalized anything at the time. Then came <laughs> the notification about Traveler's Company releasing the Traveler's Diner cover and I loved it. So I knew that I wanted to buy it. So I ordered that when it became available and decided to switch my journal into this cover for 2023. Not that I needed any convincing at all, but considering I'm from the diner capital of the world, I figured it would just make the most sense for me to have this cover. So anyway, this is my setup for 2023 and I'll walk you through everything that I have in here and how I'm using it and what all is comprised in my journal setup for this year. To start with from the outside, like I said, this is the Traveler's Diner cover and you can see it does have the embossing but not the foiling, um, which I do appreciate. So I don't always love all of the covers with the gold foiling from Traveler's Company, but this one I really do love. I also like the little retro car it has on it as well as the coffee mug that came with it. as well as the color of the elastic. It's actually kind of like a mint kind of green, like a darker mint green, which is really cute. So, that is the elastic closure. Also, I do have this magnetic pen loop or pen clip from the Superior Labor, and I have that fixed right on the front. It's in the dark brown, so it goes nicely with all the colors that I have going on here. And, Whichever pen I'm using for the month as my journaling pen, that's the one that lives in here. I didn't necessarily want to buy the Traveler's Company pen clip. I do have one for my navy, but I didn't want to get one for this one just because I feel like the leather stretches out over time. And even though I do use fountain pens almost exclusively, no, I think exclusively, and a lot of them are pretty thick pens, that does need a larger um, pen loop. I don't like the way the Traveler's Company pen clips stretch out. That's it. So this is the one I'm currently using. Um, so as we get into it, I just have this card here from a Yoseko order. Oh, and a little handwritten note that they included for me. I'm not even sure why I left it there, but it's there and it's fine. And I have the Superior Labor wallet insert from Baum Kuen. Um, this one is in the mocha color. So that's what I have on the front here and I feel like it complements this whole setup extremely well. And these pockets, I do have some washi cards currently um, and these are all simply gilded washies that I don't use at all. Um, my reason for putting these in here though is because I do want to put some washi cards in here. I just have to make them up of different washies that I want to use throughout my journal. But I just put these kind of as placeholders for the time being. So it has those three card slots as well as a full length slip pocket here which I don't have anything in at the moment. And I have a clear dashboard from Chic Sparrow covering Chic Sparrow, right? Yes, from Chic Sparrow covering the first insert that I use as my journal my personal journal. So there are a couple of inserts in here all comprising my journal. Um, I'll give you details as we go along. And then this magnetic pen is from Kubo and Lucy. So, and I just have this paper clipped to the cover just so that when I open the front, it goes right into the notebook. Instead of, I gave you, 
a look instead of like this you know going to there and then there and then there so this is a taroko a notebook from taroko shop which you can find on etsy it's i believe 192 pages of tomo river paper and it is the 68 gsm tomo river paper so a little bit thicker than i normally use but i like it either way i think it's really cool and it's a really nice notebook so that's the one that i'm using for my personal journal and this journal has a bunch of my thoughts a bunch of my feelings it has some prayers in here as well so that's what i use this for and i'm in here almost daily so i like to have the pages kind of pre-set up with a little bit of deco before i really get into um journaling my thoughts down so i'll just spend some time sometimes like if i have um an evening where i'm watching tv and i'll just decorate a few pages and call it a day i'm really trying to actually use up a lot of my um stickers that i have from the happy planner so <laughs> that is the goal here so that's this notebook again it's 192 pages if i'm not mistaken i think it is and then this is the back of that chic sparrow dashboard i will likely put something decorative here just so that i'm not seeing the white oh what i didn't explain also is that this is a vellum from sterling ink so that's what that is here i thought it would look really pretty along with all the browns that i have going on because it's got some grays and some beige and all that um, and I do this is a vellum and I do have a piece of white paper behind the vellum so that you can see the colors really well and so that they show through on the dashboard so that's that and then this is the other side of the superior labor wallet insert and in here I do have just some of my Hobonichi stencils slash rulers so that's that and then now so this is my personal prayer thought feelings kind of journal and then this section is more of a memory keeper for me and it starts with this craft folder that i have from the travelers company and this one i just put some of the stickers like the uh records one hotel the travelers cafe and i actually didn't even permanently stick these i stuck them down with the tom the uh tombow mono adhesive the one that's repositionable so that I can move these off if I need to and <laughs> put them someplace else. So in this folder, I do keep quotes that I've written down, ideas that I want to come back to, some kinds of like journaling prompts that I might want to revisit. It's really just a mishmash, hodgepodge of a bunch of things. Could be some things that I want to include in some journaling spreads. So that's what I have in this folder. And then this insert is the Travelers Company Weekly Insert. So this is the first one, the one that goes from January to June, and it's the Weekly Vertical. So this is where I do more of my memory keeping and it's personal memory keeping. So it's not for the family, it's not for anyone besides Kim. So this is, this is where I might collect some ephemera that I get from packages or some special photos that I like. And speaking of photos, in this little envelope which is also from the travelers company i have some photos that i've already printed out that i just need to stick down inside my journal spreads so that's what i'm using this for and i stuck this envelope down using the repositionable tombow adhesive as well so that's why it comes off easily because i wasn't sure how i wanted it to live here but i think i do and then this paper behind it is just from some scrapbooking paper, scrapbook paper that I picked up from Michaels. I thought it was really pretty. It's like a terrazzo print and it has some greens and some corals and black, pretty much all the colors that I kind of love. <laughs> so that's what's, that, that's what's there. I will likely decorate the front of this insert as we move through the year. And then in the vertical, or the uh, perpetual calendar. All I have at the moment is uh, some birthdays and anniversaries and special dates like that. I really don't anticipate using this portion of this insert anyway. So I started doing the memory keeping in February, but leading up to February, I actually used this uh, first week of January and I was trying to test out to see how I would like 
daily planning or the weekly planning in smaller columns so the way that I have set up in my current planner there are six columns the last one I split to make it cover seven days but I believe next year I'll be using a planner that is set up like this so I wanted to see how I could function and live within these eight columns instead of um, the six and I will mention that the eighth column in this dated weekly from Traveler's Company actually is not usable because it has these calendars over here. So technically it's just seven columns, but the planner that I should be using next year will have eight columns, I believe. So anyway, I was just testing this out to see how everything fits, if it'll fit, if the, the thinner columns will bug me or bother me, and I'm happy to report that they will not. So I think this should work out well for me for 2024. So that's what I did there and I actually um, don't plan to do any kind of back planning so I'm just starting this one from February moving on and this first spread my goal was actually to make it messy um, and it feels messy I don't know I can't tell you if I like it if I hate it but whatever I'm just doing whatever and so I have the dates and then some memories of things that happened on those dates orders that I received um, like a new coffee order from Nespresso so that was very important and very exciting went to get my nails done and then traditionally I'll stop by McDonald's after my nail appointment to get some McNuggets so that's what I documented there so this like I said are just memories all about me and obviously I'm not sticking to the vertical layout on some weeks I might some weeks I won't and this is actually last week so um, I do need to go back and of course when I have some time I'll sit down and I'll plot out the memories for this week but in the meantime as the week goes on since I am in this journal just about every single day I will write down some memory or something I want to come back to for the specific days so these little sticky notes that are weekly sticky notes that has a place for every day of the week are from Muji if I'm not mistaken I got them a very long time ago and I still have them so I intend to use one like for each week as long as I have them you know until they run out and I'll just jot down a memory from each day to make sure I have that there and if there are photos associated with that day when I am printing photos on my Canon selfie or if I'm just printing them on a regular printer like maybe on some sticker paper I will save them here so that I can come back when I'm ready to sit down and do the actual journey journaling I can have them available to me when I'm ready to do that so that's my plan for this memory keeping insert and then in the back I just have the folder the travelers company 2023 coffee and notebooks folder as well as the writing board that came with the 2023 collection so that's how I have this set up. I've been going back and forth of whether or not I want to decorate this front cover. I'm really not sure. So we'll see what happens. I may use those dated stickers, those 2023 stickers that come with the coffee and notebook set. Of course, because they say 2023, I won't likely use them, you know, once this year has passed. So I might as well decorate them here. But that is all of what I have included in my journal. In my journal, traveler's notebook so you can see how all of those fit and they do fit well this wallet insert from superior labor does take up a lot of space and I do find that I have to kind of adjust and shift things but it's okay when I do take my time to shift and adjust things everything does fit very well and there's not a lot of hangover or overhang either way it doesn't bother me so that is a brief overview of my 2023 journal setup I don't know if I'll ever like you know give a glimpse to show everything in this journal because it's a lot of personal stuff but I wanted to just provide that overview because I've spoken about it and I just wanted to give a few more details of how I'm using it and how it's working for me if you like this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're doing for journaling for this year. What are you journaling in? Do you even journal? Maybe you don't. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts 
down below so we can start the conversation. And I thank you so much for watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you and I will see you in the next video.